Hey, what's up? It's fucking Schnell, and yes, I'm finally back. In case you missed me, I really doubt you fucking did, but we're back here with Vital Vinyl Reviews, and we have um, a little special uh, two records today because I got them at the same show, but because this is Hardcore Fest started on Thursday, and um, I was going to go the day that um, both of these bands are playing again because I fucking love them both and obviously the first band I'm talking about it's fucking Nails you will never be one of us I got the brown it's fucking dope I mean not only is it one of the best albums I've ever heard? Like, no fucking joke. It's just a beautiful, shit brown vinyl. But I love it. It's fucking great. Especially since Nails broke the fuck up. And I could see why, seriously. Like, just by, like, reading the lyrics and stuff, like... I mean, it's a nice little package from Nuclear Blast, like, it has, like, part of the decibel review, like, as if all the pain in the world has found a voice, the heaviest fucking record of 2016, Decibel Magazine, 10 out of 10. I think Decibel is cursing bands, <laughs> like, like, Death Penalty, for example, put out one of the best debut records ever, like, Decibel... Loved it. Loved it. They break up. In solitude. Everyone loves Sister. One of the best albums ever. Still, like, I love that fucking record. But they broke the fuck up. Like, right afterwards. But that's the new Nails. You'll never be one of us. Um, I reviewed it. Like, but I didn't get a chance to post it. Because, you know, shit happens. And... Might as well get the vinyl review, right? And I had to wait an extra month after the um, fucking original release date because I missed out on the pink first pressing. Yeah, this is a second pressing already. And I, I just think Todd Jones, like, probably just... I mean, your band's getting asked to play... Ozfest meets Notfest or some shit, like, no, uh, I would be pretty pissed too and like, be worried about a bunch of posers liking my band, like, but it seems like that whole, you know, attitude of like, fuck your trends, fuck your friends, fuck your groupies that try to pretend that you're down, you're fucking not. Nobody wants what you fucking got. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> and then, he here's the Straight Edge Anthem of 2016 on a track called Parasite. Syringe administered pills to give you pride. Like, just... It's pretty much just about murdering people that do, like, drugs. It's insane, but... It just reminded, like, lyrically, I was just like, oh, like, it's kind of like old Earth Crisis, like, militant, like, straight edge, but I honestly didn't know, like, Todd was edge, so I don't know if he's edge, but I guess he just hates drug addicts, maybe? Uh, who knows? But now this beast, the body and full of hell collaboration. This thing was self-released, um, I forget the record label's name, but, um, check out the art real quick. Fucking rad. I picked this up when I saw, uh, Full Hell with Nails back in, the June, I think it was June 23rd at, uh, Underground Arts. I got a nice fucking kick to the face at that. Really, dude, 
<laughs> you crowd killers out there are fucking dickheads, like, for real. That shit, it ain't cool, but this fucking is. This, like, plum color, it's just, like, I don't know if you could tell. I'm kind of colorblind as well, so I don't know, like... If it's just purple, but fucking so dope. But it's a complete, like, I really like, uh, okay, here's what happened. I originally wanted the Merz Bow split, like, I fucking love it. Like, I have the dig, well, I had the digital version. My TV, I mean, not my TV, my computer broke. So, I no longer can listen to it, so, I was like, oh, I'll get a copy of it, but I was one of the first people in line because I was like, ah, oh, like, I don't know why I was stressing, but I, I kept thinking, like, oh, everybody's gonna go to Full Hell's table and buy all the merch that I want, like, I was being fucking stupid, but... I, I, I had this on iTunes, and I liked it a lot, but the vinyl has, like, two different tracks, and I'm not sure if I'm just, like, fucking this up, but, like, on a, I, uh, fuck, on the digital version of this, it has two different track titles, um, it was Cain, Cain and Abel. But on here, it's, uh, release and be free, except the pain. I, I'm pretty sure, like, this album's actually really confusing. It's the only downfall of it, like, it's just that, uh, it gets, like, super, like, you will get lost. <laughs> like, if you're trying to even know what side you're listening to, because it's just... <laughs> the most ugly, awesome sounding noise slash grind collaboration ever. Like, it's way more insane sounding than the, um, fucking Merge Battle one, but it's less, like, grindy and, like, pissed off. It's more just, like, guilt cuts, tensions free, years abuse, hands obey, eyes fold, stars malign, balance the weight between the here, the now, cavity collapses, spine bows, when the time runs out, desire peaks, when none are left, the bottle speaks, I am the body, flesh on the pike, Pine for me now, I am thy light. Like, it's very confusing. Just, um, because, like, I don't know what songs I'm, I'm hearing, but I know I'm liking what I'm hearing. But this has additional vocals by, uh, Chrissy, uh, Wolpart. Uh, artwork by, uh, Bo Bar. It's fucking... Don't know how good you, how well you could see that, but it's fucking rad. It's a really, really good album. I mean, if you're into, uh, you know, noise and shit, and, uh, especially, like, harsh, harsh noise, I, I really suggest, like, getting in the full hell. I mean, I'm sure, like, the body is pretty much, like, they're, they're, they're as, like, extreme as, like, it kind of gets right now when it comes to, uh, just insane fucking extreme music, like, and I love it, like, I love Nobody Deserves Happiness, it was such a fucking amazing album that I do need on wax, I'm slacking, like, this is the only body release I have, and it's... Like I said, it's the collaboration, not split with uh, Full Hell. And Full Hell is one of my current like favorite bands. So I got these. Well, I got this at the show. But when I went upstairs, 
just to um, give the record to my mom who drove me to the show because, yeah, I don't have money to take the L and then buy fucking, you know, a ticket. Well, whatever. But, um, yeah, I went out to the car to hand my mom the record so I could stage dive and have fun at the show. And uh, I go back downstairs to Full Hell's merch table and they have their whole discography on vinyl out and I was like so pissed and the dude was like oh like he was from like Australia he's like like you know you could trade it in. like I'll trade if you want the merge bow split like I'll trade you where like I was like nah nah like it, I, I'm happy I have this like just because I know it's gonna be limited in this uh you know format by uh EPF01, I forget what it stands for, but yeah. But I suggest picking up the new Nails record before you can't. I'm pretty sure you probably can't anymore anyway. Like, I think it's all sold out and shit. Like, because, uh, like I said, I missed out on, on the pink. Uh, but um, the brown... I, I'm, I know this is sold out, but I'm pretty sure every pressing was 500. The black might be more. I know they had the black on tour with them, and uh, yeah, I just can't recommend Nails. He'll never be one of us fucking enough. Like, and it just sucks you can't get it on this beautiful color, <laughs> unless you, you know already have it in pink and you're better than me in that case fuck you but not really it's just such a perfect album but having to get up and flip sides is the only downfall this record has due to its short time like i think it's still under rain and blood but like it's like t the longest nails record at 22 minutes, maybe, maybe, maybe 23. But it's also their best. Like, I really loved the band in all life. The suffocation riffs, it was fucking killer. This sounds like Napalm Death on fucking steroids. Having sex with Terrorizer and just. Oh my fucking. God, this rules so much, and this is what I imagine just the end of the world sounding like, just complete helplessness. If you're like lonely, hating life or something, try, try to get your hands on the body and full of health collaboration, but anyway, this is Chanel. Thanks for watching, and we've been listening to a uh, fucking craft, amazing black metal. This is one of like the best records ever, like black metal wise. So yeah, fucking craft. Peace.